Here's a look at my uh, CKU band LME that I've used. Uh, so I got this uh, 22K switch. Uh, this is the KU band LME. And I've actually gotten decent KU band with this setup onto the uh, meshy dish. And then there's a C band. And the C band's coming good, but I've been experiencing these dropouts from my DMS International LME. This is like a few years old. So we're gonna see if the titanium will fix it up. So there's a look of where I put the masking tape. Just marked it with a pencil so that I know the point between this screw here when if I ever put it back up. The screw's just actually here just holding holding that on. So I have it out a little bit here uh, over the scaler ring and then that goes out just a bit like that. So hopefully this will uh, get, I'm trying uh, doing this all on 101 West. There's a shot of the LMB. I can't really see very well with the glare on the arm of the dish going around there like that all right it's hard to see what this glare of this thing here Try to get in close here so I got her on me TV I'm getting about uh, 53 to 47 on the me TV transponder on 101 it's hard to see that with the uh, glare and in, in, in the case through the camera but that's pretty much where I'm at let's see if I get better signal than this Another thing is I took a little electric tape and covered the LMB cover so that no bugs would get in there and make a na uh, either nests or moths nests, bees nests, whatever. Um, so using the a little bit of electric tape will help uh, hold that off. So this is the model number BSC 621-2. I got that from uh, years ago. I bought that from Fridge FTA when they were operating from DMM. DM S International. There's their website, dmsiusa.com. And there's other LMBs. I'll probably have a link to one in the in, that I found on eBay. That is a similar LMB that will work like this. Oh yeah, and one thing I wanted to mention here in this video again too is for the um, when you try to get the KU band frequencies, you want to get the um, set it to ten. 600 so that uh, and not set to the standard set you set it to universal 10 600 and sometimes you'll have this 975 slash whatever you know all that stuff and uh, the uh, C band is pretty much the same as uh, most normal C band LMBs I just put in uh, 5150 5150 as I have in most C band um, inputs so with this guy it's, uh, it's a little bit more trickier and the tricky thing and people will say this about CKU band LMBs is it took me uh, quite uh, quite a while, uh, quite a lot of tweaking of this to be able to get the C band. C band was actually easy, uh, as the KU band was the hard uh, was the harder uh, to lock. So if you are going to set up one of these, what I do recommend is go try to uh, first lock onto your C band satellites and then just tweak and adjust your KU band LMB so that you can get uh, these um, KU band channels. And it is trickier to get the KU band channels. You do have to have your LMB perfectly centered on your dish. Make sure you have your D inclination angle set properly. I've had decent results with uh, with one of these. Another thing was I was noticing, I'm noticing with any LMB that I use, is if particularly if I'm on 55 West trying to watch the wrestling feed on Monday nights, some nights I get like, I get a, a dropout signal where I get lots of drops in the signal. I was getting it with this LMB. That's why I switched over to the titanium. But even with that LMB, some nights for whatever reason, the signal on it just uh, seems to be a little bit weaker. I get interference and then other nights it comes in booming just fine. So I, I can't really explain what's going on with that. Uh, so if that brings me to this, this four foot dish. Now I did get C band using this LMB on this dish, but the focal point, I, it took me a real long time. I, I, I would adjust the LMB and I would get the KU band working, but I would lose the C band. 
and then I would uh, adjust it and get C band, but I would lose KU band. So I uh, still need to tweak, tweak, tweak with this. I actually haven't set uh, played around with it on this dish. I got this dish set up for KU band. There's a few weak KU band transponders that I've locked on this, and I pretty much use this four foot dish for a few of the KU band uh, channels that I want to get really uh, that I want to get reliably. One of those uh, weaker transponders were a dish like this one that I've repurposed for Galaxy 19 is not necessarily going to uh, work very well for KU band. So here in Canada, you can find lots of dishes that look like this, and you can uh, you get uh, get a few of the uh, KU band channels on that. But when you get into C band, it's one of those uh, the, the thing about C bands. I gotta keep saying this. I can't emphasize this enough. Bigger is better. So an eight foot dish is good, better than the four foot. But a 10 or 12 foot dish would probably be a lot better. So to give a comparison between this one and the Titanium C1, I would say the Titanium gets maybe a little bit better. Not like a, it's not enough to set the whole world on fire in better quality, but it does get a little bit better quality than I was getting with this. Uh, with this LMB. One thing I was finding, I was getting a lot better performance. I forget exactly why. Uh, there's a reason, there's a whole technical reason why, and I can't remember. But I started running uh, these uh, multiple coax cables to the LMB, and then I was able to get um, the uh, KU band uh, LMB to work a lot better using the Dysex switch instead of the 22K switch. I don't know, probably the voltage or something about that that was causing it to work better that and way. And one thing I just want to mention to people thinking, uh, about these other KU band dishes. I'm able to get just as good reception with the KU band dish, or if not better, especially with the four foot dish using KU band. I was able to get better reception with KU band with the four foot dish than uh, with the mesh. But on this guy here with the HH motor, I'll show you that HH motor that I've set up in my uh, previous video. This guy uh, here, this QSAT dish, it was just much easier setup, although this tripod on the deck here is not the best setup. I gotta put it on a concrete post on the, in, a, in the ground, but it does what I needed to do, and uh, that's good. So yeah, I, with it on a tripod, I do gotta emphasize every time the wind blows really hard on an, uh, one evening, I do gotta come back out here and readjust it. So it is recommended that you put it on a concrete post in the ground. That was the problem I was having with this one when I had it on the deck. Um, now that I've had it on the uh, concrete, it in, uh, cemented into the ground, cement concrete, I forget, I forget the term or whatever you use there, but the hard st st stuff you make wet and it gets hard, that stuff. Anyway, that, once I put that in the ground, uh, this thing has not had to been a, be adjusted since, uh, since I've done that. So that's been a good thing. And then there's this dish here, which I got to... Adjust on the wood post here, which I need to adjust uh, a couple times a year to be able to lock on the Galaxy 19 with it. So today we're going to try out this Titanium Satellite C2 PLL Dual Output Interference Elimination Filter. So it's supposed to take out some of the interference. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes, all sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. One really good thing about having a CKU band LMB is if you're searching for wild feeds, it gives you that edge when you're trying to track a satellite on your geostationary arc to make sure that you're locked with your C and KU band transponders so for example, there might be a satellite that might not have any KU band transponders active. You can find it with your C band part of the LMB and then scan in your KU band transponders that might be uh, backhauls or wild feeds. These LMBs are great for feed hunting. So please check out my YouTube channel, Robbie Strike, and check out all the technology videos and reviews that I've done covering satellite, free to air, cell phone, how to do stuff in Linux, how to do stuff in shortwave and old technology and doing neato things with computers.